Well, good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to the channel. I do thank you for watching. I thank all my subscribers. And uh, let's just jump right into it here. I'm getting ready to lay down that, uh, that fairing compound up here on this forward deck and along these caps on both sides like I did the flooring right here. You saw that in the last video. And uh, that is, of course, like I said, that's to prepare it for primer and paint. And so here momentarily, I'm going to start mixing my resin. I'm going to start mixing up the uh, micro balloon uh, powder and uh, we're just going to get after it. So with all that said, I'm just going to get after it. I'll be right back. Oh, and by the way, I'm not going to record that entire process. I'm just going to kind of hit the highlights there. Um, as you saw in that last video, I think you kind of get the general idea of how this is done right here. So again, I did not see the need to uh, take you through that start to finish. We're just going to kind of hit the high points. Okay, well, once again, uh, I'm going to get after it. Well, all right, it's all good. Up next, primer and paint. I'll be back. Well, I had to slam on the brakes there for just a second. I was getting ready to sand this area right here in preparation for primer and paint. Getting ready to sand all this out. I test fit my gas tank and found that my gas tank would not fit up underneath this rear deck. And I guess when I laid down this fiberglass mat back here, I kind of built up that the thickness of this flooring right here just a little bit. And it was just enough so that that gas tank would not slide in under there like you see it. So I had to take the old drum sander and uh, I had to remove some material from um, a brace that runs up underneath here. And my fingers run al running alongside the bottom side of that brace. But I had to take some of that material out in order to get that uh, gas tank to slide up in there uh, like I want it to. So, um, yeah. Uh, you know, it's just things you run into sometimes, and uh, I'm going to have to do the same thing over here because I do intend to run two of these little uh, low-profile three-gallon tanks uh, that are going to stow up underneath this platform. I'll have one on each side, and uh, so, yeah, like I said, same thing over here, and uh, yeah, just uh, sometimes, you know, you just run into stuff like this. All right, we'll be back. Okay, just like that, I'm done. I got this side taken care of just like I did over here. I uh, had to remove some material from uh, that brace. I mentioned that here uh, a few moments ago. I have a brace that runs from about right here on back. And uh, when I laid down the uh, fiberglass mat on top of this plywood deck right here, it actually had the effect of uh, raising the deck just a little bit, probably uh, eighth of an inch, maybe three sixteenths of an inch. But um, when I did that, then the fuel tank would not clear. It would not go up underneath that brace that's up underneath here. And uh, let me show you what I'm talking about here. Let me just knock my flashlight over. That brace, I installed that brace uh, for a polling platform that I hope to put on this boat one day. And uh, the brace is there to have a, uh, so I'll have a good solid attachment point and also to support uh, the weight of the platform when I'm actually on top of that polling platform. But anyway, that's the brace I'm talking about right there. And I had to remove, oh, probably right at a quarter inch of material from the bottom of that brace right there where I'm running my finger. Uh, probably, that's probably about an 18 inch section right there that I had to, uh, uh, 
carve a little bit of material out of so that tank would clear and uh, go up underneath there. And again, I had to do that to both sides. Okay, now with that out of the way, I'm ready to clean up, sand, and prime and paint. I will be back. Okay, at long last, we are ready to prime. And as you can see, I've already taken care of that hard to reach area right there. I did that last night. But uh, like I said, we are ready now to get the rest of this done. So here goes.
right folks just like that we're done got the floor primed it's ready for the uh, color coat and uh, we'll do that in the next video this is a good place to go ahead and wrap this one up we'll just uh, pick up where we're leaving off right here and uh, after the floor is complete after it's done uh, then we can move on to the uh, uh, the side rails these caps and of course the forward deck and uh, go ahead and get all the painting finished up and then uh, after that then of course we'll just have to install all the rigging uh, handrails uh, hatches and what have you there but uh, we'll save that for a future video like I said for now we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up so with all that said I do thank each and every one of you for watching. I thank all my subscribers, and God bless each and every one of you. And as I always say, in all things, to Christ be the glory, and we will see you next time.